This is the day in my life of a full-time university student and pro athlete. Now let's cut to the video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I train like a professional athlete whilst also balancing a full-time schedule at university at one of the biggest universities in the world, Monash. How do I do it, you may ask? Well, you'll find out. Stay tuned. Okay, it is 5 a.m. Every morning, I either get up at 4.45 or 5 I'll alternate with my bro because we both do a cold plunge. 100 seconds in the cold, really good for your mental clarity and wake up first thing in the morning. Good for dopamine throughout the day. Good luck. The next thing I do with my day is deep work. This first block of 90 minutes, I need to do my hardest task of the day, which today isn't going to be uni work, actually. It's going to be editing the Lambros website. So that's going to be the toughest task I do. Try to do the toughest task in the day as early as you can in the morning. I'll see you guys on the other side. Alrighty, boys. I am about to hit a gym workout, and today... We have day two on the program. So we have an upper body hypertrophy day with the inclusion of lower limb plyometric exercises, obviously footy specific stuff. There's days in life where you have to wreck yourself. And today is one of those days. So I will see you boys on the other side. That is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen, on today's session. Absolute grueling session. 45 minutes, but extremely in high, but extremely high intensity. Just try to catch my breath. Really good workout. Got exactly what I needed to get in. I'm feeling really good. It's only 8.35 in the morning and we're gonna win this day. So let's get into the next one. Okay, this is confession time. So anyone who is in school or uni or even work who does a lot of study, I'm gonna give you guys the biggest secret to perform well. So at high school, I got a 98 plus ATAR and uni, I'm pretty much averaging a perfect grade right now. So GPA of four. And the reason why is because I limit my study hours to four hours a day. You need to put more emphasis on physical activity. So moving your body, such as going to the gym, going for a run, socializing with friends to help your mental clarity. And the four hours that you are actually working, you can go into a deep flow state and every bit of knowledge enters your brain so you can perform at the highest level when you need to get to that test exam or suck or whatever you're calling it. That is literally the secret. And that is how the top 1% of people who perform well in uni and school, do it. Four hours a day, no more, that's it. Alrighty boys, today we have a continuous run. So we have a distance session. We're gonna probably hit around 35 to 37 minutes of running, but it's footy specific. So if you are training for a sport, don't just go on a 7K jog. Like we're probably gonna cover 7Ks today, but don't just run 7Ks flat. It's not gonna help your footy at all. We're doing some fart leg specific stuff. We're doing some footy specific warm ups. We're doing a lot of slow and fast running, but it is a continuous run. So this is gonna be very interesting. And as always, we have the fruity socks. Can we get just a quick zoom in on these socks real quick, Steph? We've gone with the nutcracker. So it's not footy season, but I thought I didn't want to exclude the fruity socks. You know, they were feeling lonely in my closet upstairs. So I thought I'd better chuck them on. And um, literally, I did not say anything to Steph. And I'm going to flick this camera around and show you what he's wearing. Mate, what? The pineapples today. How are you wearing these pineapples? What's going on here? Mate, I don't know. I was just working away. Now I'm getting some sun. Got the pineapples on. Let's go. Let's go, mate. Look how beautiful this day is. Oh, there's a little cat. There's a little cat, Ginger, Ginger, Ginger. Oh, she's so nice. Probably not ideal in the middle of the road though. 
<laughs> there we go, there she is. There she is, Ginger, the neighbor cat. She's so nice. Good girl. All right, let's get this run, bro. That was cheap. That is 7.01 k's done, roughly 5.16 pace. That's including break, stop and start. We're doing some fartlek stuff as well. So it was a really good session. And running before you do work throughout the day can be so valuable because it just helps you really zone into that work. So the work is so much more productive. I'm gonna have a coffee now and then we're gonna head to campus. So stay tuned for this. Coffee test, co coffee taste test review. <laughs> Alrighty boys, Steph and I are literally headed to Monash University right now. If you guys don't know what Monash University is, you have been living under an absolute rock. I'm in my fourth and final year of physiotherapy. Now I have my final exam coming up. It's a three hour belter and it's in 14 days. Now guess how much study I've done, Steph? Nothing, mate. <laughs> Absolutely Too busy nothing. working on Lambos. <laughs> Not to mention, you've done uh, 27 weeks, is it, of placement for free? It is, yeah. Over the course of the last eight months, or last 12 months, I've done 27 weeks of full-time work all around Victoria for physiotherapy for free. That's what they do for you when you go into physiotherapy. Probably not ideal, like, realistically, you guys have got to know that the course you do right now and the marks you get in that course is not your whole life. Make sure you prioritize family and you prioritize social life and also your longevity and health. And you know what? I'm excited to join you today because I also once upon a time went to Monash, but I completed it now, mate. After oh, yeah. four grueling years in commerce <laughs> and economic, I've completed it. I work full time and today I want to be working from the library. So. Mate, you're reaping the rewards. To join you. You're reaping the rewards. I'm going to be studying my ass off for a test, and you're just going to be doing your full-time work. I mean, it really doesn't sound that rewarding, though, does it? Like, uni sounds pretty good when I compare that to full-time work. But at least I am getting paid for today while you're just uh, working for free. Alrighty, boys. You're probably wondering, what am I doing standing in the middle of Monash University on a bridge making a fool of myself? Well, the first answer is, I'm being an idiot. But the real answer is, I'm just observing. I'm observing all of these people around me. I'm going to say 95% of these people look tired, run down, really pale, and overweight. And the reason why is because they're placing their whole life's purpose on uni. Now, when I went into a full-time physio course four years ago, this was my purpose and life. And I dedicated all this time to study, but I didn't balance my lifestyle well. So I didn't get outdoors. I didn't go for runs, didn't go to the gym. And this completely impacted my life. What you guys have got to realize is that uni and school isn't everything in life. You've got to find a really good balance. And in order to live your best life, I hope you guys enjoyed this content and watch it religiously because this is going to teach you how to optimize your hormones, your performance, and how to take your schooling to the next level. Four hours of good study a day is going to be better than 10 hours of just really shitty work. Now you're probably wondering, Who's this bloke you're looking at? This is actually just Lambros with a shirt on. I know, a little bit demotivating. I'm looking pretty small, but we have made it to Monash. So we're just gonna walk around and show you guys what Monash University campus is looking like, get a coffee, and then get stuck into some deep work. We're taking a trip down memory lane here. So every Thursday night, I would come to this convenience store at Monash before training, and this is exactly what I would get myself. I thought this was the most anabolic meal before training of all time. So the first thing I would do, I would come over to this fridge and grab myself a dare triple espresso to get in that caffeine. I don't know about that dairy though. I don't think it sat very well, but I thought it did back in the day. I'd get myself a banana. And then the final thing is I'd come over and I'd find probably the cheapest protein bar. Cause I had no money back then. I was working like two small shifts a week and I'd get myself a protein bar. And I thought this was so optimal before training. Yet did I know 
That's full of gluten and seed oils. This is what Steph should have had, a banana and a coffee. Seriously, what is he doing? For those aside, there are actually a lot of food options at Monash. I was only on here for one subject and that was anatomy. So, believe it or not, we actually had to deal on dead bodies every Wednesday for two whole years. So I would come here, first time I saw it, I would literally have to go out of the room. I thought I was going to vomit. But I literally came to the campus and we had to like open up dead bodies and take out the muscles and the veins and ligaments and tendons and nerves and everything and write about it. And the smell was like something you've never done before. So if you do physio, you know what this is like. And I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. Hey Steph, it's a smoke-free zone, bro. Oh, sorry, I was just getting the cigars out of my bag. You're smoking hot, bro. <laughs> I've come prepared. Oh, no way. You've actually brought your own berries. Yeah. Mate, they look beautiful. Tuck hey, in, Steph. Bro. Oh, I've just stuck one in. Perfect, man. <laughs> Excellent. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Have a look at this, everyone. How quiet, calm, peaceful, unreal. Steph and I have somehow manipulated ourselves to find a focus room. So we've got like this little pod here. Look how many people are studying, man. Oh my God, it's a Monday afternoon. All right, boys. Laptop set up, got my books here. I'm gonna rip through about one and a half years of content. So the physio exams on the first four years of content out literally every single year at uni. And within the next 90 minutes, I'm gonna finish the whole first year and a half. So ultimate productivity right here. Wish me the best of luck, and um, boys, I'll see you on the other side. Cheers to that. What's your go-to brew? I have a lactose-free ice latte today, so this should get me through the study session pretty well. And we've done well finding this little pod so we can actually talk without everyone looking at us like absolute degenerates in the study, in the study room, that is. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Knock, knock. Oh. Hey there, bro. What are you up to? Deep work. Deep work. Let's go, bro. Two hours of deep work. Can we get a... Smash up. Can we get a... Go deep work? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to say, bro. Sorry, man. I butchered that. Yeah, actually, uh, it took me out of my flow state there. Sorry, so. bro. Cheers, Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers, big ears. Hey, bro. <laughs> 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 so funny, bro. Mate, look at those veins coming out of your head. That means you know you're in a big flow state. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the most distracting person in the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'll let you, I'll let you zone in. To the moon, baby. To the moon. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. 90 minutes of deep work. Completed it. Now we're going to blast a huge anabolic lunch. This is going to be so healthy for us. And we're going to just quickly swing around the campus, see what there is to offer. Boys, this exam, I'm going to smash it. And the reason why is because when I do the deep work, I'm not just thinking, you know, physio, someone has a sore knee, you got to do this, 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 this. I'm relating it all to real life. If you can relate whatever you're learning to real life and really make it relatable, it's going to stick so much better. So make little stories, go on in your head. Make like words that represent each letter, represent a certain scenario or something going on like that. Make some songs up in your head. Look, I don't know if I'm going crazy or not. I probably am, but this room is driving me insane. Let's get out of here. Steph and I are currently walking back to the car now. We were in the little pod for about two hours and then we filmed some funny skits. So I hope you guys enjoyed the intro of this video. There was about 30 people just looking at us like absolute dickheads, running through bushes, running through the middle of the food court. It was so funny. But now we're gonna head home, get some lunch into us, and fuel in for the rest of the day. Alrighty, lunch is ready. We have rice bolognese, not spaghetti bolognese today. So this meal here is around 910 calories, give or take. I added a little bit more cheese, so it could be 950 tops. But basically, if you're training really, really heavy and you are training multiple times a day like we are at the moment. You've got to eat a lot. So at the moment, I'm eating about 3.2K calories a day and obviously tracking my calories. So I'm going to sit out here for probably 10 minutes with Snowbear over here and just enjoy my lunch. So I'll see you guys on the other side. 
just finished lunch. Look, it never really stood a chance, if I'm going to be honest. It was just a sitting duck from the start. So lunch is done, and then I'm going to sit outside, and I'm going to read for about 15 minutes to just really clear the mind. In this section, I'm now going to be revealing, <laughs> revealing, I'm going to be revealing my three biggest secrets to optimize my knowledge and mark. So if you want to smash your ATAR, if you want to smash uni, whatever it may be, or even just generally taking in more knowledge and maximizing the productivity in your life, this section is for you. So the first tip is to actually study less. I'm going to say that again, study less. I know this may sound extremely obscene. And if someone told me this when I was in high school, I wouldn't have believed them. Don't fill up your day with meaningless tasks. Instead, refine the time that you study. And when you do study, get into a flow state of deep work. The second tip, well, the lights are changed. <laughs> the second tip, wake up early. I know this also is going to be very tough for some, but in the morning between the hours of 4.45 when I get up all the way through to about 8.30, there are no distractions. Get up early when no one else can bother you and smash out deep work. Third and final tip, this is the best tip. Stop reading the objectives of what you need to do. Now, for years and years, I was always told that reading like the objectives, like you know how you have like an exam in year 12 and there's a billion different objectives you got to read. You got to learn how to do Pythagoras theorem and then learn who bloody Seinfeld is, like all this bullshit. Guys, you read all of it and it just overwhelms the shit out of you. It gives you an endless amount of work. Simplify everything. Do one task at a time. Literally set yourself two to three goals every day and really dumb it down. Don't look at a whole pile of shit because this just overwhelms your mind and it's not good at all. Okay, we are cooking dinner. Chef Steph, what are you hiding, bro? What have you got for me? Oh, man, come on and look at this. Chicken. Um, the cheese isn't quite melted, so that was actually... Lactose-free as well, obviously. Lactose-free, of course. And then we're going to get you 200 grams of rice. Beautiful. I'm doing 100 grams because I've got a marathon in five days, and I just thought I'd make it harder for myself by going down to 100 grams of rice. So it's pretty sad. <laughs> a marathon that you found out you are doing a couple of days ago as well. Yeah. With absolutely zero training. That's great, man. That's great. Yeah, we've got to hit that 200. 181, oh. almost there, almost there. And as you can see, guys, we are having whole food. So literally just a bit of salad there and some rice and chicken. Pretty much all whole foods, isn't it? Yeah, and then look what I've made you for dessert as well. You're going to be excited oh, for this. Oh, it's so good. Everyone's going to love some this, bro. Greek yogurt, bees juice. Oh, the bee juice in there. Of course. And some blueberries, strawberries, and your favorite PB too, so. How good. We're going for a good one. So moral of the story, everyone, um, if you want to study full time and become a pro athlete, get yourself a chef like Steph. So tell your parents to have another kid, get him to uh, grow up a little bit and make food. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Oh, that is unbelievable. Homemade palmies. Or oh, are they palmers? Who will know? Comment down below your thoughts. Palmy it's, or it's palmer? It's palmers, bro. It's palmer. You don't say palmy. Who says palmy nowadays? Oh, bro. That is magnificent. Bob. Oh. And get yourself one of these rice cookers. Like, literally, like... 20 or 30 bucks from like BW, unbelievable. So it is 6.30, I am going to absolutely devour this, about 85 grams of protein in there, is that right, Steph? Yeah, 85. 85 grams of protein in that chicken, about 300 grams of chicken breast, and rice obviously, so I'm gonna smash this and enjoy. So it is time for a taste test, this looks absolutely unbelievable. Tasman meats, chicken breast, let's see what it has to offer. Holy shit. That is unbelievable. Oh my god, it's like a little bit of sweetness, but a little bit of like the green stuff you put on there. What what word is that? Oregano. Oregano. It's coming through, man. Like that little like leafy taste. Unbelievable. And we're watching Barbarians 2, a Netflix series. Boys, after six o'clock, head out the books. Stop studying after six o'clock. It's not it. This is just downtime. You need to be in bed by nine, latest 10, in my opinion, if you want to be up at five, to get your seven or eight hours of sleep and just relax. Enjoy the time with your family. Go out on an adventure in the wild. We're just going to relax and soak it in. 
god complex. <laughs> okay, next thing I want to do is a little bit of recovery and mobility. This is something, I'll be honest, I actually don't really do that often. I'm going to start implementing this three times a week because our load at the moment is through the roof. We are literally training eight plus times a week and it is high volume and high intensity. So I'm going to jump on the foam roller for about 10 minutes, do some back rolls and some stretching. It is currently 8.21 p.m. right now. I am literally, bro, you cannot be peeing right now. Dude, no, 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 no. <laughs> Boys, I'm editing this video right now and I have amazing news for you. Steph and I have just launched an exclusive community challenge. It's called Project 60. It's 60 days where there are five things you have to do each day. It won't take you any longer than 36 minutes a day. It's super, super easy. And we literally give you the secret to transform your body in under 60 days. We're doing community meetups on the weekly, and we are in this community every single day, sending out exclusive videos, chats, everything. You have 24 seven access to us. There is a hundred spots available, and unfortunately, 11 spots have already been taken. So quickly get in before spots run out. Make sure you secure your spot right now. First link in the description, Project 60, get ripped for summer. Boys, Lambros, out. Road to 5K, love you so much. Please subscribe.